I just, I just can't take it anymore. I mean, he's just so, so broke. He doesn't even care. God, I don't know how I got myself into this mess. I can't even afford a prom dress anymore. Oh well. At least I have a lot of wrestling DVDs now. Wrestling DVDs. They're in your schools and in your shopping malls. They roam the streets looking for prey. They can often be found in the passenger side of their best friend's ride, trying to holler at you. We met up with Dr. Marvin TLC at the Ontario Lab for Scrub Research and Development to learn more. Can you explain to the viewers at home who may not know the exact definition of a scrub? Certainly. Well, simply put, a scrub is a guy who thinks he's fly, is also known as a buster, always talking about what he wants and just sits on his broke ass. Oh. I don't want your number. No. I don't want to give you mine. No. I don't want to meet you nowhere. Uh, no. I don't want none of your time. This is Rachel Cunningham. She's 17 years old. Four months ago, she went out with some friends to a club. There, she met 21-year-old Biko Dwayneson, who asked her to buy him a drink. She complied, and one thing led to another. They began to date, and soon enough, Rachel's mother's credit card bills became crowded with chingy ringtones and boxes of Dunkaroos. After a couple months, the effects of the scrub began to take its toll on poor Rachel. This madness had to stop. Get out of that box! That box. Get out of that box! Get out of that box! So there's this scrub checking me. This game is kind of weak. And I know that he cannot approach me. No. Because, you know, I'm, I'm looking like class and but he's looking like trash. Yeah. No. You can't get with no deadbeat ass. Exactly. Except, yeah. It's, it's just awful. Do you need anything? Sandwich. A sandwich? Do we have a sandwich? Ham, please. Ha ham sandwich? Some cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese? We only have Swiss, so okay. Just forget it. Leia was on her way home from her job at Gene Machine on April 9th when terror struck. She saw three boys in the distance, one of them a neighborhood scrub. The scrub began to approach at an increasingly rapid pace. Leia was trying to keep her cool, but before she knew it, The unthinkable happened. The bottom of the scrub barrel. So, you were assaulted. I was. She, she was. was. Leia, I, I want you to look into the camera. Look at all the scrubs out there. Talk to them. Tell them how you feel. If you don't have a car, and you're walking... Oh yes, son. I'm talking to you. If you live at home with your mama, oh yes, son, I'm talking to you. You have a shorty, but you don't show love. Oh yes, son, I'm talking to you. You want to get with me with no money? Oh no, no, I don't want no scrub. So, where did you meet this guy, anyway? In Shul. Oh, I see. Th Too that's him. Who? The scrub, that's him. Yeah, that's the scrub? Yeah. Over there? Yeah. Oh, wow. Hey, come on, come on, we're gonna go get a shot of him. Make sure, try and get his face. Excuse me. Excuse what do you me. Want? We just need a shot. We're, we're trying, we're filming a movie. What do you want? And, uh, get out of here. An interview with you. I don't want to talk Please. to you. I don't want to. Please. Get out of here. Get his face. Don't, ca don't sure. take pictures of him. Get that camera out of my face. Come on. <laughs> Scrubs. Probably the most threatening threat for young adults since Barbie girls. 
There isn't much we can do about this problem except to raise awareness. Raise awareness and lower our tolerances. When confronted, put your foot down and say, a scrub is a guy who can't get no love from me. Until next time, I'm Benjamin. Just sits on his broke ass